just tells it enough. Hands have started. Side boosters landing legs have deployed. Well, those are just some of the highlights from the SpaceX's successful launch of the Falcon Heavy rocket into orbit last week. And National Geographic astronomy columnist Andrew Fizekas in Montreal with us this morning. Andrew, very cool, that launch, and particularly the return of those boosters. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that was something that everybody was crossing their fingers for, to see that choreographed ballet landing of the two booster side rockets uh, on uh, side by side on the lawn, on the landing pad back at the Kennedy Space Center. And what's interesting, uh, some people may not realize this, that those two boosters were actually already recycled rockets. Oh. They had both been used on previous launches in the past year. One of them actually sent the military satellite into space, and the uh, the second one was used to carry ferry supplies to the space station for the astronauts last year. Hey, you know, I, what really impressed me was the way they streaked worth. We didn't show this at this moment uh, in that little clip that we showed a minute ago, but the two booster rockets just blazing toward Earth yes, at uh, supersonic speed. And then at the very last minute, the igniting of those booster rockets that brought it down, as you uh, described, in a perfectly choreographed kind of way. But what was really cool was the, the sound of, uh, of, of, of what breaking the sound barrier. Yes, and you know, that what was interesting is that whole rocket launch was captured, was seen by folks right across uh, um, the United States. So the launch itself happened in Florida. So a lot of people in the general region, uh, even uh, two hours drive away, were able to see the landing of the boosters, uh, capturing it on their smartphones, part of the, uh, the return trip back to Earth. Uh, and the actual launch of the, the entire rocket system into orbit, part of that launch was also visible out on the West Coast. As far as California, people were, were seeing the, uh, the, the second and the third stage uh, ignite uh, up in, uh, the, in the far sky. Just amazing. Andrew, is this a game changer in some way for the way cargo is transported to and from space? Yeah, this is really big because what we're talking about is a very he the, the most powerful rocket booster that we currently have. We haven't had one this powerful since the Apollo Saturn V booster took us to the moon. And we do need something this big to be able to push payloads past low Earth orbit. So this, is, this uh, rocket is really uh, to be used for more than just putting something towards the space station, but to perhaps build spaceships in orbit that'll take us to Mars, push uh, vehicles, uh, uh, human-occupied vehicles to the moon, to Mars, help us build colonies in space. So this is a game changer in that sense, also in the sense of business as well, because uh, now much larger satellites can be put into orbit. So we're talking about uh, a great uh, boon for uh, telecommunication satellites, Earth reconnaissance satellite. They could be more robust because we can take bears. So customers are going to be lining up. And this actually costs a third of the next competitor, it's a third of the cost, sure. and it can wow. put up twice the amount of the payload. Yeah. Uh, we're just looking uh, right now at the Roadster, uh, Elon Musk's Roadster that he sent up with that rocket. National Geographic astronomy columnist Andrew Fisek, it's always a pleasure to speak with you, my friend. Enjoy your Sunday. Clear skies.